what is up you guys your boy Swakoon back into the game with another video and today we're going to be going over the brand new missions added into NXB Ninja Voltage called the suppression mission so without further ado let's get straight into it and I'll explain everything you need to know about this new game mode so please make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe down below join the swag fam if you haven't already but without further ado let's get straight into it so first things first the suppression mission is a global mission it's not something that you can just complete by yourself so don't worry about it if, it, if you feel like dang this is kind of taking forever nah man but anyways let's, let's walk straight through the rules and i'll kind of go over and break everything down so first things first suppression mission will be lasting until january 11th of next year um so you have a pretty long time in order to finish this so basically what this is is there's a whole bunch of bases as you can see base unlocked as you can see so in the very beginning we started off with just this data base right so you get rewards for the first time you clear it which will be right here random clear rewards which are these right here you will you will get these drops the more that you beat the base so it's just kind of random <laughs> excuse me this is just kind of random you know what i'm saying and suppression rewards are rewards that you receive after you suppress the base so as you can see right here it shows suppression rate 100 suppressed I don't know why they chose that word specifically, but look, look at this one. This is the most recent one that we haven't completed yet. So uh, suppression rate is 45.3%. So basically everybody contributes uh, to how fast this gets suppressed. So pr suppressed means basically we've completed it enough amount of times. Uh, so if I were to complete it, for example, 10 times, it would add a little bit. So if I complete it once, it might add like 0.1% of suppression rate. If I complete it 10 times, maybe it'll add like 0.5% or 0.3% or whatever. Um, so as long as everybody in the community is grinding these missions, these will get completed. For example, yesterday I was grinding this data remission. I have not touched it since yesterday and now we're all the way here to Asuma. You know what I'm saying? But you want to make sure you complete each mission at least once so that you receive the suppression rewards. I think you still achieve them, but for example, you're not going to get these first time clear rewards. So even though, for example, I only did Datara, even though you might not have done these, make sure you guys do them so you can get these first time clear rewards. You know what I'm saying? Because that's some extra Shinos that will eventually stack up, as you can see. You will also get rare bases here and there. When you receive, when you get a notification that there is a rare base, make sure you guys hop in there because in the rare bases, you will get higher drop rates of the ninja tools, which I will go over right now, but you get higher drop rates of ninja tools, of all that good stuff and all these new metals, which you can exchange in the shop. So let's go over all of that stuff right here and I'll break everything down. So suppression bonus occurs on, so I already explained the suppression rate and all that stuff, 100% suppression and all that fun stuff. Suppression bonus occurs on bases that have been suppressed. This bonus is determined by the average max bond level of those who attempted the base before it was suppressed. So basically, let me, let me show you guys. So let's say for example, I'm gonna go here, right? So look down here on the bottom right, bond level bonus, okay? So if you don't have a bond level six up to level six, then you're gonna get one reward per completion. If you get, if you use a squad that has a bond level six or higher, you get level two or three, two rewards, then three, then four. Then if you have a level 16 bond or higher, you get five reward slots. So how do you raise your bond level? You raise your bond level by using shinobi that have a ninja bond equipped. So for example, Kawaki here has a ninja bond equipped with Baryama Naruto. So here it's bond level seven, okay? So if I were to get rid of everybody here, let's get rid of everybody. It's bond level seven just with Kawaki by himself, all right? Now, first things first, right here, you're, this is your main shinobi. This is your Vanguard shinobi, okay? So basically you're gonna be soloing these bases with your Vanguard shinobi. So if I were to just equip this, Kawaki is gonna be my main. Now these next guys are your rear guard shinobi. So let's put Baryama Naruto. He has a bond level seven as well with uh, this Shadow Sasuke. So now my bond level is at 14, feel me? So I also have a bond level with this Shadow Sasuke with Naruto Light, bond level three, and that's gonna go up to 17. So now every time I complete the stage, I'm gonna get five different rewards item drops. And finally, I have Karma Boruto here with the bond level one with War Sakura. Feel me and I already went over a guide on how to raise your bond level and everything all that fun stuff so if you guys haven't checked that out I make a full in-depth video on ninja way and bond levels on my channel you guys can go ahead and check that out um, if you need a bigger in-depth explanation um, but yeah as you guys can see <clears throat> as long as you have shinobi who have a ninja bond equipped your bond level will go up I'm, not sure I understand. I'm so 
I'm so over Siri, bro. She has been trying to be the main character in my videos for the past like two videos. Anyways, whatever. So, bond level 16 or higher. Make sure you guys use Shinobi that have bonds equipped. That way you guys can get more rewards and more of that fun stuff. Now, as I said, Vanguard means that you have a main Shinobi. So that's the person you're going to be running with the entire time. So let me go ahead and walk you through this real quick. I'll just kind of break it down just so you guys can see really quick. I'm not going to go through the whole mission. But basically what these are are just fortress bases that you just have to complete. That's it. It's nothing too crazy. They're not too difficult, at least not yet. So as you guys can see, I have Kawaki here. Kawaki is my main. So let's go ahead. You know what? Let's just clear this really quick. So we're going to run through here. Now, as you can see, um, I'm by myself. It's not like a regular attack mission where you have supports following you everywhere, right? So there's a reason for that. That's because my guy right here is the Vanguard. Now, if I wanted to switch to somebody else, I just have to click their little icons. So for example, let's use uh, Burial Monarto. I'm going to click his face. And now I'm Burial Monarto. Now, as you can see, there is a cooldown. Um, so I can't switch back to Kawaki until his face is reloaded again. So we're going to go here. We're going to try and complete this, blah, 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 blah. Now, you don't have to complete everything, I don't think. You don't have to complete everything. I, as long as you defeat the Shinobi, I think that's all that matters. So, now I want to switch to, let's say, Karma Borto. Now, Shadow Sasuke. You see what I'm saying? Now, you can switch to whoever you want. So, that's that's what, that's what you can do. Um, we're just going to defeat this boss right here. Like I said, it's nothing too crazy. They're not too hard or anything. And let me show you guys the reward drops that will end up dropping right now. Since I have a bond level 16 or higher... It's going to give me five rewards. So check this out on the bottom right right here. Now I have five extra bonus rewards. So the first bonus right here, the first medals is just what you get when you clear it. Now, one, two, three, four, five uh, bonus reward drops that I got because of my bond level. And I got new Ninja Tool materials, which is really, really clutch. So we'll go ahead and back out here. Now, you guys want to make sure you're contributing to this first for the first clear rewards and two so you get medals and three so you can get these new ninja tools these two these new ninja tools have an insane insane amount of hp so check this out contribution rewards oh my god shut up a contribution reward so if you contribute to every single one of these missions that get completed that get suppressed you will get 300 shinos you got to man you got to you got to you got to it seems like a lot it might take a while but it'll be worth it and finally when you go to the exchange shop here as you can see i got some metals so here in the metal shop you can get new ultimate ninjutsu cards you can get attack beads hp beads hearts to evolve your ninja bonds keys all that fun stuff these are really good for leveling up your ninja way they have really 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 good stuff in there as well so make sure you guys are doing that um and make sure making sure you guys are grinding out all the missions okay so rare bases this is what i already went over um crunch time will be available for a set period of time so rare bases are only for a set period of time um and we all have the same times for rare bases so just make sure you guys keep an eye out for that vanguard rear guard that's what i uh went over previously base effects is basically the same thing as when we do those roundup sure missions so if you if an enemy drops down below 50 percent basically they get like special effects they get status home immunity all that fun stuff um suppression rewards already went over that contribution went over that random clear bond level bonus all that fun stuff and finally you can get these as drops as well so these are rations that give you an advantage during the attack period and attack missions uh so basically you can use these in attack missions to level up your attack and defense by 2000 which is very solid you know what i'm saying if you're like riding goku and you're kind of struggling a little bit you could use these before the mission that'll kind of help you out and we have this new ninja tool that i was talking about so when you get these little bubbles these little circular ninja tool materials you can go to the ninja tool shop and create this tool that has an, a ridiculous ridiculous amount of um hp so let's go ahead and head over there i'll show you guys as you can see i got the ninja tool materials when i completed that mission this is it right here bro you have a guaranteed 14,000 hp and the rest of them you have a chance to get 1,000 to 14,000 hp that's stupid so let's go ahead and check out my luck here damn that, that was that was rough but let me show you guys this look check it out i put one of my wandering ninja sasuke over here i believe yeah look how much this gives him check this out Sixty-five thousand two hundred and eighty-six. just so you guys can see how stupid that is let's use sage of six paths konohamaru here no actually let's use someone who's awakened who's awakened okay let's use this sasuke right as you can see, he is D-ranked. One, two, three, four. 
double S tier, just with tools. No cards, no nothing. Double S tier from D, just with these tools. Now, before you guys go out and do these to all your shinobis, let me tell you this first. You don't want to do this, okay? Don't just stack them out with HP, because that's not... I mean, yeah, it makes them a little more tanky, but what you want to do is make sure they have resistances first. So as you can see, I have paralysis resistance. I have seal resistance from this link board here, so I just kind of ignore that. Right? Where is it? Oh, right here. I have link. I have a seal resistance with that. Now that I have double resistance, then I can add HP and all that stuff with these uh, cards right here, with these tools. So Sasuke, I have 100% seal resistance. Now I could start adding HP tools to get, make him a little more tanky. So even though these tools are great, you want your resistances up first, then HP comes next, okay? Make sure you guys do that first. The only exception, I guess, would be Final Room if you guys want to do that. My Sasuke here, for example, I don't have resistances on him because I don't have enough materials. But in the meantime, if you don't have enough materials to be able to build up this, their seal or paralysis resistance, then it's okay to do HP. Just max them out on HP, but only in Final Room. That's it only final room but even in final room you want to have the resistances up so sakura for example i have her seal resistance up and then i stack her with hp after so just a little tip you know what i'm saying just so you guys you guys get some more dubs on defense but yeah guys that's basically about it for the suppression missions like i said it is a global thing so don't expect to get it to 100 percent all by yourself it's all good we're all in this together, man. But anyways, hope this hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any more questions. But without further ado, good luck on your grind. Good luck on your great Guild War grind. Thank you guys so much for everybody who applied to my guild. I already filled everybody up. But please, you know, feel free to apply, you know, just in case. You know what I'm saying? You never know. We might open up a second guild. Still thinking about it. We'll see how this one turns out. But thank you guys so much for all who applied and all who were interested. But without further ado, stay swaggy. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.